Hi, I'm Samaru and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do the exterior, the floor plan, and a little bit of the garden layout in my land grab manner reimagined. This is going to be a three-parter video. The next video will be up tomorrow, and then the third one after that, concluding the series. So with that being said, let's jump into this build. Okay, as mentioned before, I'm doing the land grab manor reimagined. I'm taking a lot of inspiration from the original mansion. And by that I mean that I'm keeping the length and I put the kitchen at the same spot. <laughs> but we have an extra bedroom. I know it's not a lot. From two bedrooms to three, I know. Wow, amazing. But... A lot of the space is kind of for like Eliza's gym and I feel like she broke apart that bedroom and she was like this is going to be my gym after she threw out her son a little bit of law <laughs> Johnny Zest is he's the land grab yeah he's like Nancy's little throwaway son he didn't want to go into the family business and she was just not having it she's not an iconic queen but yeah so <laughs> my inspiration for this build was kind of to have it blend in with nature to look like it's part of the desert but also be modern and functional so I feel like I did get that across you will see at the end of this build what I meant with that but yeah it took me a long time to get there <laughs> I knew that I wanted the house to like the middle part of the home to kind of feel open to feel like the house is split into two squares basically I saw a reference photo of a house in the desert that had that and that was my inspiration along with those new open sliding doors that we got with that kit and also the windows they came with it as well those angled windows they are absolutely stunning I needed to build with it the moment that EA gave that pack for free. It... <laughs> I just love free things, and I think we all do. So yeah, I just had to build with it. And I felt like there's no better build than the Landgrab Manor for that. Now, around about here in the build, you will see me experiencing the worst glitch that I've ever experienced in The Sims. And I really hope that they patch it up quickly, because... The Sims 4 is a building simulator, and with glitches in the building simulation of it, <laughs> sucks. So yeah, it's a nightmare. As you can see, <coughs> the mouse is going all over the place. You constantly have to angle your screen, and since the update, this is what I've been sitting with. I hope that I'm not alone. I'm sure that I'm not. I can't be the only one that's experiencing this glitch. Like, someone out there also has to. It's infuriating. It's frustrating. I've installed and uninstalled my game. Still. Nothing. <laughs> but yeah. I You will see me working around that little build glitch. Well, try to. Which is why I'm not really looking at the build. So, <laughs> I'm more just going to tell you about the build itself. But every time I look towards the screen and I see my mouse jumping to the little corner, I'm feeling anger. <laughs> and I don't want to feel anger towards my game. I love this game. I've been playing this game since the year 2001. So yeah, it's my favorite game. I love The Sims. Let's not 
Sims team, please fix this. This needs to be fixed. And then this area that I'm building now, this is Nancy's little square. No, sorry. I'm mistaken. This is where Jeffrey lives. Is it Jeffrey? Is that the son's name? Or am I thinking of her husband now? I don't know. But her son lives there in this little area with the gym kind of at the back and then a little spa in the... It's like a walkway between the two upstairs sections. You will see in a bit. This part that I'm building now, the square here, this is Nancy's suite. And that has its own staircase from the kitchen leading to the bedroom, well, into a little hallway and then the bedroom. She wants some privacy. She wants to lock her door. And then also connecting the upstairs together, like I mentioned, with a little outside hallway. I wanted to make the upstairs accessible, but I also really wanted you to be able to look through the house. I wanted those metal pillars that you can see. I wanted them to go to the second story rooftop area, but then I don't want anything to obstruct it. I wanted, you will see, it's part of the design of the house. It will make sense once you, once I do the roofing. You will see why. It looks very beautiful. Yes, I think there I'm starting to place the windows. I had to work kind of around the windows with the platforms that I placed first. So you would see me remove the platform and then I placed the windows and just added the platform back. That is just a little easy trick to get around windows and doors being placed a bit higher. I know it is a bit frustrating, but if you have windows that are at the normal height, as you saw when I placed the same windows at the back of the house, the one side has a little bit of a platform, so the window jumped up, but I could just alt place it a bit lower manually. So that made it a bit easier. <laughs> but yeah, I just had to work around the front part. And with the rest of the windows, I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised to find out that the metal from the base game windows actually match the metal from this new pack. I was very shook. This is something that doesn't happen. The Sims team never match woods. I mean, I struggled with wood in this house as well, but at least I could get that little warm oaky color. I think it's oak. I don't know. I don't know my wood. But yeah, at least I could get that wood tone matched. That is, in my opinion, the only wood tone that actually is quite consistent throughout the game. The rest, mm -mm, very questionable. Now, you will see me place an angled roof only on one side of the house. That is the only place where I have an angled roof, except for the like the little patio area outside that is separate from the house but i did that purposefully i wanted to have a glass roof in the kitchen and i also turned that roof into a into the solar panel roofing from eco lifestyle the sun shines directly onto it most of the day so it just seemed appropriate um, I didn't place any other solar panels in this house because it made my roof look really ugly and you will see that I really like the way that my roof looks. I added those glass floor windows, <laughs> I guess you can call them, that we got with Island Living. I placed them on the roof um, over my little hallway that I made just so that they can be some more natural extra lighting. I know living in the desert, that probably isn't something that you want. You wouldn't want 
warm sunlight going through a window from directly above and I might actually be a fire hazard but this is the sims and we are all about aesthetics yeah I'm placing the same roof windows <laughs> um, at the front door I just want to bring it in and also there's no windows by the actual front door and the door itself only has that one little slab of glass and I needed more light this house is all about the light. Now, where I'm placing these little square windows, these wooden square windows, that is Nancy's bathroom, a separate toilet, and then also walk-in closet. I went with the wood tone windows and then the metal windows just to bring in my metal and my wood theme that I'm going for. I didn't want all the windows to look the same, just like I didn't want all the walls to be the same. But yet, everything works together and it comes... Yeah, I think it's quite cohesive. Now I'm placing some half walls around the roof trim, well, the roof platforms, just so that I can have a more even paint going straight through. I don't want to use any of the actual platforms, the colors that they gave us there, because it sucks and it doesn't blend with anything. So I like placing actual walls and then choosing my own paint or brick or wood or whatever I want to make it. It's a little bit more flexible, it's a little bit more easier. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place some floor trim, I'm also placing some extra floors, figuring out, okay, where do I have to add things so that I can have this floor trim. I forgot to add the wall back by the window itself, so the upstairs is technically open now, but I do change that. Now... I was also very pleasantly surprised that the metal pillars and the metal floor plan, like floor trim that we got with Eco Lifestyle also matches perfectly with the base game windows and then this new pack windows. I'm really impressed with <laughs> the swatch matching. I don't think I will ever be able to not talk about it. It's something that the Sims team just never does and when we get this it's revolutionary like it's amazing I'm also not using any actual fencing as you can see I'm constantly just using half walls I want everything to feel consistent and cohesive it was very important so even well with that being said as I just mentioned I am using different colored windows and doors but yet it still is cohesive it's cohesive to my theme that I am going for with this house. So now I'm just going around placing just some extra windows, putting light everywhere before I decide where I'm going to place my floor plan. Now I think it's round about here where I am starting my floor plan, that little box that I'm doing there that's going to be a sauna. I knew that was going to be the sauna but at that this moment of the building everything around the sauna and then their son's bedroom, I wasn't too sure what I was going to like actually do there. I wanted to maybe make it an open office or like a sitting area, but I completely change it once I start decorating the house. You will also see that I leave boxes open with no lights. That's where I place, I'm planning to place some in, like built in cabinets. I think I put the built-in cabinets in their son's bedroom and then also in the guest bedroom downstairs. Nancy gets her own custom built-in wardrobe so I decided not to give them the one that gets oh, that comes with get together. Now this area that I'm doing here this is like the bar area with the large open windows, this area with the shorter windows, that is the TV entertainment area. 
I wanted to keep that entire space like an entertainment spot that then leads naturally into the outside area. I use a lot of green indoors just because you don't really have a lot of greens in the desert. With the sims though it is different, all the cacti have like flowers, well the debug cacti that I use. They have beautiful flowers on them and they are really 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 green so <laughs> that kind of brings itself back indoors but we are not there yet I'm just preparing you for that for tomorrow's video. So now I've painted the entirety of the outside just with the base color which is the concrete that I'm going for and now I'm going over that with the metal from Eco Lifestyle. This metal color is beautiful. Again, it matches the rest of the metal, which is what I was going for. And uh, sticking with the Eco Lifestyle pack, I am now placing some wood all around the rest of the house, where I feel is necessary. I did struggle with this little part next to the that little bump out placing the metal i do wish that the different paints and the different like from wood and metal and things that there was a different texture that can separate them but unfortunately it is just like an image mesh and there's no actual wall definition which is kind of sad but we have to work with what we have so there I decide to just be like okay you know what I am just going to play so we can use our imagination that there is just a little bit of a wall a texture difference I paint the roof with a concrete that has kind of the same greenish bluish color that the metal is that I used and now I'm placing an outside area that I turn into like just your general workshop like the place where I feel Nancy's husband I'm just gonna call him Jeffrey if that's her son's name I'm very sorry but I think actually Jeffrey is the husband but this is where I imagine Jeffrey goes to you know he's like oh to get away from Nancy I'm going to go work in the garage but because we don't actually have garages in the Sims 4 I just kept it, just made it like an open space. This is where he goes to work. He doesn't actually do any of the things that he says <laughs> he's doing, like the gardening or the woodworking, no. Now, yeah, I'm placing the outside patio. It's not really a patio, that's not really what you call it. But... I can't think of anything. It's not like a cabana. I don't know. I don't know. The words left me. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm doing the little outside entertainment area. Let's just call it that. I'm realizing that I made it too high, so I'm shortening it a bit. I do place some half walls around it, and I put it on a platform. Uh, I think the one that came with island living or it might be the snowy escape one I'm not sure but it is like a type of an elevated platform like a stilted platform and then in front of that I also do the pool now for the pool I know that we aren't there yet but for the pool itself I wanted the pool to be on a one platform like one platform up because the pool itself I put in the show hidden objects cheat and I think it's that cheat alone that gives it. But yeah, I put in that cheat and that kind of gives you a glass roof. One of the platforms, it's invisible. And placing it on a pool itself, it makes it look like it's glass. So that's what I did here. You will see that in a bit. I am starting just to lay out my, my layout. <laughs> of where I want everything to be placed. Now I'm just putting a general platform out and yeah, I'm placing the pool, realizing that I cannot have the general platform 
because it is a stilted platform. Oh my god. Ugh. Of course not. But I think around about here, I will put in the cheat. It should be around here close. Like, oh, yeah. Now I'm putting it in. I do forget to drop the bar. I'm sorry. But I do drop it in like a minute or so. So it won't be there <laughs> for too long. Now, back to the house itself. I forgot to mention, when placing the doors, I only did the... Out my outside doors only consist out of the island living doors and then the new pack. The island living sliding doors. And then the new pack open... Like, new pack. New kit. The doors that came with the kit. The open doors. They... Their colours blend really well. I like to imagine that the one is the door closed and the other one is the door opened. I know the one, the island living door slides open, but it's the Sims. We can all use our imagination. So <laughs> that is what I was going for. And they just blend so well. I mean, uh, the wood on the island living windows, it's perfect. It looks like it's part of the actual new kit. Like, it blends so beautifully. Everything in this kit just blends so well. All the swatches. I really wish that they could go back and just change all the swatches. I know that that's like an impossible feat. Like, they're not gonna do it. That's wishful thinking. Would I do it if this was my game? Probably not. I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, no, not at all. But now I'm <laughs> starting with the indoors. I'm placing some pillars. Those are the pillars that came with Get Together. The Windenburg world. They are the best pillars. They match everything in the game. I like to use them on the corners of like houses as well, but not today. This house isn't the vibe. Now I'm starting to play some indoor doors. I go with the modern base game door. I place them all around. The wood swatches match. And then I know this house is in the desert. Why am I putting fireplaces everywhere? It's for the aesthetic. They, Nancy can afford to put on the air conditioning while the fire is burning. She doesn't care. It's probably a fake fire in any case. So that's why we have fireplaces everywhere. Fire is a vibe. You need the fireplace. It is what it is. I live in South Africa. Where I worked, we had two fireplaces in the lounge, in the hospitality. Um, yeah, I was in the hospitality area. It fucking sucked. But, yeah, so we had a massive, in the massive hallway, we had two fireplaces on each side. And it gets really hot here in South Africa in the summers. So, mm, you just open the doors, you have the air conditioning going all day. Because rich people. It's disgusting. But that's Nancy. I feel like that's the type of person that Nancy is. So, yeah, that's why I have five places everywhere. This wood that I'm placing, I hated it when I placed it, and yet I continued to place it, knowing full well that I am going to change it later on. And I do. <laughs> I change it once I start decorating the house. I just can't stand it. I hate that color. But I thought to myself, let's try it out. Let's try it out. But it also it darkened the house too much. That's not the vibe that we were going for. No, not at all. Now, yeah, I'm noticing that I placed the windows a bit off center once I placed the pillars. Like I said, that's going to be the kitchen area. I do change those metal windows to wood once I actually do the kitchen. The wood just looked a lot better than the metal, and then it matches the two windows on the side. One of the rooms on the side, like, those two rooms on the side, the one side is this colour, and the other side is like a laundry. Nancy wouldn't want people to see her fridge. We have a colour for that, it's hidden away. Fridges, they are ugly, they are dis 
Mm. They're just in the way in certain modern builds. Which is why in yesterday's video, no, the video two days ago, I forgot to place the fridge. <laughs> because it just wasn't part of the vibes. But I did add one in at the end of the video. That is one of my favorite homes. That house was, it's, it's definitely a home that I would like to live in. But we are not busy with that build. We are busy with the, the land grab manner reimagined. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. But yeah, so here we are. I'm busy just making like a, like an old river that dried up. I do add some, like a little bit of water just for the looks of it. And then I add a lot of rocks later on. We're not doing that today. I actually don't know why I didn't finish the garden here, to be honest. Usually I would. When I start with the garden, I will finish it. But I did the garden last, which is why the garden is going to be in the third part video. I am so sorry. Like, I do apologize. I was planning when I did this only to do like two parts. I was like, okay, we're gonna have the outside and we're gonna have the inside. But yeah, it just just didn't work out that way unfortunately now this little sunken part here is just to add some texture we are in the desert everything is flat it makes no sense so then I'm just adding some texture I do put some rocks in there and now I'm starting to plan the layout of my floor I know this looks messy this looks so messy right now. I hated it, but it comes together. This entire build itself is like a trust the process kind of build. I love it. I just, trust me, it, <laughs> this build uh, comes out really good. So yeah, yeah, you can see me just mapping out kind of where I want everything to be placed. This little under area, it, gets closed off at front with a gate and then I actually place like proper tiles there because at the back I use proper tiles when we get there later on. I am now just going on and just smoothing out the concrete. After doing this, after breaking it like a little bit more neater, I go over it with the sand that I used to create the shading just around the corners just so that it looks like the sand kind of blew onto the gravel itself it makes it blend in a bit more uh, and that's kind of when it starts to come together and it looks like it's actually okay it's not just paint on a paving but even though now still it is a bit questionable but once I place my plants <laughs> in part three, it comes together. It really does. I cannot stress enough how much I love this build, especially once we start decorating on the inside, even though it took me forever. The decorating of this build took longer than the actual building of this build. Oh my God, it was ridiculous. But we are close to the end of the build. I'm just finishing everything up. Well, that ended very abruptly. <laughs> I really need to work on my time. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> I am sorry. But yeah, thank you so much for sticking around for this build if you stayed to the end. I am going to post this on the gallery. You can download it today so yeah my gallery is also Simaru just on the sims itself and thank you so much and then I will see you all tomorrow for part two have a good night <laughs> bye bye